hey guys, so this is an idea that I've had for uh, for a little while, and it's something to the effect of, I guess we'll call it like realistic RuneScape, and it's, you know, you get a lot of people telling you things like, you know, if you do this for this many hours, or if you do this for this long, at this rate, whatever, using this-ish gear and stuff, then this generally happens. And I'm like, well, okay, but, you know, if I'm getting defenders and multi-tokens, how, how many is that actually? So right here, I'm in effectively max gear for strength besides, you know, using, like, Void plus a Deflector and Barrel's Gloves and stuff and using Piety instead of uh, just normal prayers that I'm on right now uh, since I'm a Berserk. Uh, this is the Zerker-friendly method. I think I fuck up once here, maybe twice, because I'm not paying the most attention. I'm talking to a lot of people in my friend's chat and stuff, and, you know, I'm not pay <laughs> paying the most attention that I possibly could, but it's not a big deal. If you've got any defense experience to spare, all you do is you get multi-tokens, just the way you get multi-tokens, you really don't get that much defense experience from it. You know, if you were using it legitimately, like you were staying in here the entire time while using it, you'd use quite a bit. But uh, the way you just go about it for using this method, you really don't need to spend very much experience at all. It's like maybe a couple hundred at most. It's not a big deal. Uh, you go and you set a timer for 50 seconds. I'm using the Swift Get timer, though I'm sure you could use a more productive one that would like... I don't know, you could set it to auto-reset after 5 seconds to give you time to go out and go back in or something, something like that. And you just kill them and go back out. Uh, always make sure to use your added defender on Camarifa when you go out. Otherwise you will, you know, if you just try and go back in the door with a rune 1 in your inventory or wielded, it'll give you dragon, which will suck horribly. I've been there. And uh, don't bother killing the Cyclosis that you see because they will only ever drop dragon even if you're set to get rune. I've also learned that the hard way a, a couple of times. <laughs> uh, finally, if you don't want to get a Cyclosis spawn, you can either, one, use a two-handed weapon, like a Saradaman sword, or I really wouldn't recommend using a, a god sword or something, but, you know, you can either use a two-handed weapon, or you can just use an Addy Defender. And the advantage to this is that, you know, you, if you're a Berserker, you won't be wanting to kill the Cyclosis anyway, because their drops are absolutely useless, they take a long time to kill, and it's, you know, it's pretty pointless. Now, if you're a main, and you're getting Dragon Defenders, I would highly recommend killing them, because they've got, like, a 50% chance to get a D Defender. So, you know, that's, that's up in the air, it's up to you. Uh, I was kind of really lazy. Now what I'd also recommend doing is just using a, a Mithril Defender on it or something, if you've actually got one in your bank still, and just getting two Addy Defenders so that you can have one in your inventory and be wielding one. And it's like, oh man, that's going to take a while. It'll take you a couple minutes at most, it's not a big deal, and it'll let you be a lot more AFK in future, because like right now, you know, for a little while in the clip, you can see me kind of kind of switching between them. You know, I've got the Rune one that I'm wielding for, for damage, and the Addy one in my inventory is in Camrifra. I didn't want to have to switch it in, switch it out, switch it in, switch it out, because you're going in and out every 50 seconds. You know That that becomes kind of a big bother after a while, and I didn't really want to do that. So it's up to you. You can either get another Addy Defender, or just use a two-handed weapon, or just not give a shit like me and kind of run around and dodge the Cyclosses when they spawn and, uh, and play it like fight caves, uh, which is kind of what I did in the video here. Now, for this... um. You know, in the background, you just got me talking to uh, my friend's chat, which, you know, blew up after my last video, I guess. And I, I guess I kind of want to want to start something from my last video. And, and it's going to just pretty much just be like loners unite. And it's just, you know, if you're like me and you really just don't have that many close friends that you play with anymore or anything, then just feel free to, to chill in my clan chat. You know, I'll talk to you. We'll talk to each other. People will talk to you. We can do things together. It's just... You know, as of you know, when I got on uh, tonight to do Cyclops, it was a it was a great thing. People were in there chatting to each other about school and about you know things that they were going to events and stuff, and it was just a cool little little thing. So if you want to be a part of that, feel free. If not, then it's not it's not a big deal. Uh, give me some ideas for other things that I can do, sped up versions of, of either an hour or possibly more. And if I do the more version, I'm gonna have to like you know go out and like get a laptop and Wi-Fi upload. The, uh, the video because my upload speed's 0.5, so when the videos get to be get to be large, I can't really <laughs> can't be bothered to do them at home because it's just oh god, it's just way too slow. But this is something that I'm kind of interested in, and it's kind of cool to see people hang out and uh, like me talk to people about essentially porn videos of naked girls playing around a pool or you know soon to be cybering with someone. You know, it's all it's all good. And uh, that's just kind of a cool thing, and you actually get to see the legitimate amount of defenders that I get in. I think it's about 45, 50 minutes or so. I, I use just over one bunyip, 
And I, I think I spent some time at the beginning, like, just having a spot in the bank and stuff and chilling and talking to people for a bit. So it's not completely accurate. But I, you know, just, just think of the timer at the end for about 50 minutes. So it's just under an hour. Oh, God, what else? Um, now, for either doing commentary or music to things like this, just, you know, hours sped up versions of doing something with either friends chat in the background or something else, would you guys like to do something kind of like a... Like, I've always been a, a really big fan of M13 and Woody's camera tag. And M13 is just completely brutally honest. He's kind of an asshole, but in a, you know, completely truthful kind of way, so it's not really being an asshole. It's just not taking into account caring for, for people, being being little bitches about stuff. There's the cybering. There you go. Uh, I don't know. He's, he's a great guy. If you haven't checked out his channel, he's a, he's a vlogger, and he's got, he's got amazing videos. I'd highly recommend that. I, yeah, he's in my, my sub box on my, my channel page if you want to go check that out. And if you haven't checked out Woody's Gamer Tech, he just plays a lot of a lot of Call of Duty. And he's a father. And he's just he's a really cool guy. And one of the things he does is Mail Monday. Uh, now the advantage of him doing it, obviously, is that he's got a lot of life experience and everything else. And I just <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting out here, Jesus. Um he's got a lot of life experiences and things that he can actually relate everything to. Oh look at me fucking poke this guy. It's fucking awesome. So it's like it's, it's I don't know it's a little it's a little more awkward for uh, for me to do it without all these different life experiences. But if you guys wanted to send me in questions either about you know real life RuneScape or anything else, uh, then you could do that, and I could kind of talk about them when I'm looking for uh, something to use as a voiceover, which could be a thing, and it'd just be something kind of cool for me to think about and you know, experiment with, because I, I like trying to give people advice, even if it's not, you know, the best advice, because I may not have done it myself, but I, I like trying to look at everything in my life from every single perspective possible, every angle that I possibly can and everything else, so I don't think I'd be absolutely terrible at it, at least. So, I don't know, if you guys are interested in that, let me know, and uh, if you guys just like the concept of me doing something for an hour or more, let me know. Fuck off, right? So, I don't know, I kind of ran out of things to say, <laughs> so, there it is, there's Loners Unite. Um, I don't know, I, I really don't think I'll be decaying much in the near future until Bounty Hunter comes out, because it's just, it's not, it's not enjoyable for me. I might do some, like, whip DDS rune fights or something and try and PK in old prayers with friends, or, you know, even just use basic gear and stuff, because I think that's a, a little more interesting to watch than just peaking and like I call it rag but my rag you have to understand is 500k to 1 mil risk so I mean when people are like oh man you always complain about the wilderness becoming shit and you know you go trolling yourself I haven't I haven't quote unquote trolled for like 3-4 months the clips of my last video were 3-4 months old and I haven't done it done it since and you know whenever I did go out I'd always be risking at least more than the rune set I was fighting so all things considered, they had a they had a better loot than I would have gotten from them. But you know, I, I don't do that anymore, and I don't know. I just I don't know anymore. Like uh, when people say, "Oh, don't play RuneScape if you're not having fun," and I say that too. I have fun on RuneScape when I make content that helps people, that helps people forget about, you know, I don't know whatever bad time they're having or something else, and that that makes me that makes me happy. That makes me feel good. So. You know, when I'm always asking for all these ideas and everything, it's because I, I'd like to make content for people that makes you forget about the shitty things in your life, at least for a couple minutes. Or, you know, lets you grind away in RuneScape and just listen to me talk about something or chat about something or, or watch a video, whatever. You know, I, I do that too, and it's it's a great feeling. It's a nice thing to have. So, if you guys would like to help with that, just give me a lot of ideas. Send me in questions about either real life or RuneScape. And... You can send me in, Matt, how should I make money for Turmoil, which I guarantee is going to be 99% of them, but really, yeah, I just, I did that a long time ago differently, I could have a couple ideas for how to do it now, but really, they're all pretty basic common sense, so I can still give them out if people want them, but I mean, you know, to me, since I've been around for so long, they don't really seem like advice, they kind of seem like, well, dur this, <laughs> so, I don't know, I, I hope you guys having, I hope you guys, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and, uh, I hope it continues to be awesome. <laughs> Cheers, guys.
Matt Gerard said I'm not I know I'm trying to think of something else. Cheers, guys. You are very handsome. Or I guess if you actually are a girl, then you're very, very pretty. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was that was awkward. 